quality raters guidelines are something that they've been around for a long time. Um, but just recently, I would say in the last couple of years, I really feel like Google has started to implement a lot of things from these guidelines in their algorithms. And so one of the things that we've been doing lots of is we do a lot of site assessments where if your uh, site had lost a lot of traffic, um, you know, we help to figure out why did that happen? What changed in Google's algorithms? And what we're finding is a lot of the times the things that seem to change in the algorithms, they're directly outlined in these guidelines. So the quality raters guidelines, they're uh, a set of about 160 pages that Google uses to train um, a massive army of, apparently there's over 10,000 people that are employed as quality raters. And um, they take these guidelines and then basically Google says, this is how we determine what a high quality website is. The quality raters look at websites and they say, yes, this is high quality or no, we feel like this was frustrating to us or, um, and they manually review websites. And then Google takes the results from the quality raters and feeds them into algorithms so that they can create algorithms that mimic what a human being would determine in terms of quality. So it's very important. I mean, if you've ever wished that Google could give us a, a checklist of what we need to do in terms of, uh, of being considered high quality, this is what it is. Um, and so there are tons of nuggets. We could probably talk the entire day about things that are in these guidelines, um, but in the time that we have, we'll talk about the most important. Well, th this, is, this is great because, uh, Wow, a set of guidelines. Imagine you could have one of these. Uh, this kind of is probably the closest year you get. Why, like personally, I haven't heard of it before. Um, is it something that is that well known um, for, you know, just the average uh, small business? Well, the guidelines have been around for many years. Um, and years ago, they used to be kind of a secret and every now and then somebody would leak a copy of the guidelines out and the SEO community would go crazy over it. And then I want to say it was ugh, maybe four or five years ago, uh, Google decided that they would let the whole public see these guidelines um, and we didn't have to get leaked copies of them uh, in order to see what's in there. So I don't know, you know, how widely known they are. I know there are some people who have been in SEO um, for a long time that pay very little attention to the quality raters guidelines. Um, but, and, and part of the thing is they're, they're kind of difficult to read through. Uh, I mean, there's tons of examples that um, uh, take some time to, to process through uh, and it's not, really the greatest um, in terms of being well written. Uh, so, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I know uh, without a doubt that uh, there is good stuff in here that Google uses and we've helped websites. I mean, we've said, look, the quality raters guidelines say this and you could improve your site by doing this uh, and then traffic improves. So, um, so yeah, I mean, I think, I think they're becoming more well known. I'd even predict that in a year or two, you'll see all sorts of people who are quality raters guidelines experts. Um, but, uh, there's only a small handful of people right now that I know that are talking uh, adamantly about these guidelines. All right. So uh, we've kind of covered like what are the guidelines, why they're so important. Is there anything additional there that we want to mention before we jump on to the next step? I think, I think that sort of outlines uh, what we need to know. I mean, we know that the guidelines are written by Google. They tell us what uh, to look for in terms of quality. And there are many, many things in there. Um, I have a, a checklist that my team and I go through that we've made from these guidelines that just basically uh, says, you know, Google says this is a sign of quality and we can't see this on your website. So maybe we should add this. Um, so yeah, I think, uh, I think that sort of uh, sums it up. 